It was my regular checkup. I, my family doctor just was doing, he did just did a, a, a complete blood count. Because of what the lab pointed out to him, he decided to go to another step, have some additional blood work done. So they found out that I have um, a non-Hodgkin's lymphoma because of that one little blood test. But more importantly, as they investigated me to determine what kind of lymphoma and all of that, they also found out that I have lung cancer and I have an aneurysm in my brain, a bulge on an artery. The aneurysm, would have, I would have found out about it when it burst and I had a uh, stroke. Or the lung cancer, by the time they found it, it would have been too late to treat it. The aneurysm, I thought, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I had to wait for a little while before I had it treated. And there were times when I thought, I wonder if I'll make it till then. The lab is, is this place that nobody pays attention to very much, but in fact, without it, we really don't have any information that will help us, uh, the healthcare professionals, make decisions. About 85% of diagnostic decisions are made based on the lab results. If we're looking at something and we see something that makes us go, I want a pathologist to look at this, uh, we have to call the pathologist, we have to get the pathologist to come in, and we have to get the pathologist to come sit down at our microscope and look at the cell that we were looking at. And if there's something that we want a pathologist to take a second look at, we can take that digital image and send it to the pathologist wherever he is and we can have an almost instantaneous answer. Get results quicker to physicians and patients allow you know, diagnosis and treatment to begin sooner. It also increases the capacity of our lab significantly because it frees up all these people um, who are currently doing all these manual tasks to um, perform other things and, and really allow for an increased volume to come through our lab. It'll give us a much better quality picture. It is better because we're, we're going to a standard automated platform which uh, uh, removes variability and increases quality by giving us a, a, a standard process as opposed to a, a manual process where there's more variability. The lab assistants currently have to uncap every tube, go into every tube, and then recap every tube and plant them to plates. They're all very careful when they're doing it, and they do it behind the screen, so the chances of splashing are pretty minimal right now, but uh, there'll be even less. If, when it's all done in a closed system, there's no chance of splashing and contamination. If it's provided the laboratory in Red Deer and in central Alberta the ability to bring in the latest and the best technology so our patients in central Alberta can uh, know that they're getting the highest quality service we can provide. I've been to a number of different labs throughout the province um, and I'm not aware of any of the other labs receiving this kind of significant um, gift or donation to improve care. We are here 24-7. If you're in a car accident and you need blood, we're here. If you have a child that wakes up in the middle of the night with a bloody nose and you bring them into a merge, we're here. I wanted to be able to tell people how important it was in my life because without that lab work, I wouldn't know what I know now. And I'm now, two years later, completely healthy and live it back living my life the way I lived it before I was initially ill. For me, it's hematology really did. It saved my life.